This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. The children of a large number of beneficiaries could be among those living in persistent poverty, going by the latest findings of an Otago University study. It's also revealed that Māori and Pacific Island children are the worst off. Sarah Bradley has the details. Thousands of New Zealand children are living below the poverty line and the impact will be ongoing. We know that if children are in long periods of deprivation or low income, that they're much more likely to have not only poor outcomes as children, but actually poor outcomes as adults. Bill Logan has counselled struggling families for years. It's not only poor people that are hurt by poverty, it's everyone that's hurt. Poverty can lead to violence, alcoholism and depression. Of most concern to the opposition is its effect on education. Having them arrive at school hungry means that they can't work and can't concentrate. The study examined data on almost 5,000 children between 2002 and 2009. It found 16% lived in persistent low-income conditions, while 13% experienced persistent deprivation. Māori and Pacific children were twice as likely to be living in severe poverty. The study defined poverty as children living in a household which earned less than 50% of the gross median household income. In 2009, that was less than $28,295 a year. Critics say it isn't child poverty, but rather child neglect, and even at low income levels, children can eat healthily, but some disagree. People have difficulty finding ways to keep their kids entertained in the school holidays. People have difficulty getting the money together to get them into the swimming baths. The study requested by the Children's Commission will be used to set targets for poverty reduction and legislation. Sarah Bradley, One News. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team.